Chris, welcome to Bring the Zoo to you. We are over in this lovely park right now with the sunshine looking at our pea fowl and our guinea fowl. Behind me, we are gonna have a couple of our pea hens with Emily who's gonna be throwing some lovely mealworms for them as well. And guinea fowl over here. Here at the zoo, we do have pea fowl, guinea fowl, also known as the peacocks. With our pea fowl, that's what they call them entirely, but we have pea hens, peacocks, and even their chicks are called pea chicks. Now, the little gray and white birds right here are helmeted guinea fowl. We do have 18 of them on grounds of the park, but you can't really tell the difference between a male and female as well as you would from our pea fowl. They are not the pea chicks or the babies of the peacocks and pea hens. They're totally different. As you see, some of them have colored bands on their legs. Over here, pink has a pink on her right side. So typically we'll go ahead and let them have, the males have metal bands on their left side, color bands on their right side. I reversed that actually. So males will have right here a metal band on the right side and a color band on his left side. So as you see, they love to take, uh, go ahead and eat lots of bugs. We provide them with a diet of Lana pellet, greens, and additional bugs for treats and also enrichment items for them to eat. We can also provide them whole fruit for them to forage and pick at. In the distance, we have a peacock. He may be making his way over in just a little bit. Around the whole entire park, they are free to range wherever they choose to. We have feed stations stationed for them to go to throughout the day. We do fill them up with pellets and do go around to make sure we do inventory on all of our birds. What inventory means is that we are going ahead and finding them in the park, identifying that we have seen them, and also doing a head to toe check to make sure they are healthy. Along with our peacock over here, you see he does have the metal band on the right side and the color bands on the left side. All of our peahens and our peacocks as well have names. This here is Ozzy and he's next to Miss America. Now, with our peacocks, some people ask why, why aren't they spreading their tails? Why aren't they spreading their wings? Well, it is a seasonal thing. What they'll do, it's a courtship display where they go ahead and they spread out their train of feathers and they'll shake them in front of females. While we are entering that season, we don't always see that display every day from our males. During the summer months, they'll continue to have those long trains of tail feathers there. However, they'll start losing them in the fall. They only have them for breeding purposes. Now our peahens down here, you'll see they're different in coloration, a little bit more drab in color, and that's to help camouflage them while they're nesting. They do nest through the summer and we do have them nesting on grounds. Last year we did have pea chicks that did hatch out and they may be running around this summer but looking much differently. They, some of them have some bright blue colors coming in. That's because they're juvenile males. We do have a juvenile female that looks very similar to her mom as well. Now peacocks here, they're also known as common peafowl or Indian peafowl. They're going to be found in regions of India and Asia. Now the guinea fowl, they actually are not from the Indian range, but they're going to be found in portions of Africa. Now you see they're foraging on the ground. That's a natural behavior they would do to go ahead and find their food. With our guinea fowl, they are helmeted guinea fowl. There's actually seven different types of guinea fowl in the world. With our peacocks here, we do have our Indian peafowl, but we also have another Congo peafowl located in reptiles and birds. Now with our birds here, how do we keep track of them every day is a very good question. What we do is we go ahead, we have a checklist with their names, IDs, and their colors of their bands, and we'll go around looking for these birds. One way that helps us as a tool to find these birds and locate them is we actually have a bell that we have conditioned them to come to. Emily here is going to ring the bell. When they hear the bell, you can see they prop up, they perk up, they want to know what's going on. And what it means is they're going, we want that bird to come to us to receive a reward or a reinforcement. In this case, we have some different enrichment items. So like the insects over here, we have mealworms, we have peas, and even some pasta today. This is an extra enrichment item, not a daily a diet substance. With our guinea fowl, you can say they're very vocal. They actually are known for being really good alarm callers. 
If a hawk was to fly over right now, they'd stare up and make some very large vocalizations that sounds like a very much so car alarm. Our peafowl do the same, but guineas are known for doing it where you can hear them throughout the range of the zoo. As the summer months hit us, we will see our guinea fowl disperse into smaller groups where well, they'll go ahead and have a male and female go off and find a nesting site in the park. Our peafowl will do the same. Our hens are, are going to go ahead and find a location where they're going to nestle down. It can be anywhere from a lifted planter over down to the ground as well. They've gone ahead and nest in various parts of the zoo. We work very hard to find them and track them to know where they are at and how they're doing as far as the day goes. Now with them, they can have a clutch size of about six or so, sometimes reaching eight. We monitor and make sure we know where they're at in the park and how many we have with them. Now our guinea fowl go ahead and what they do is a little bit different. Although they'll range together in small groups, occasionally when one nests and lays a few eggs, hens will come to that nest and continually dump eggs or lay additional eggs in that nest. We've had nests that have ranged up to 50 eggs or so in them before one female decides to sit on them. Now it changes up, it just depends on the season and the group of uh, guinea fowl that we have and what their preferences are here in the park. Now with their feathers you see those are white dots with their lovely gray and what you see on their heads that's their helmet. The males will be a little bit more elongated than the females and their red wattles, males will actually extend a little lower as well. Now they're looking to Emily. Any more food? What's going on? There we go. There's some greens for them. Do guinea fowl mate for life? You know, it's more of a seasonal monogamy, meaning they're going to find their partner for the season, and maybe it could change as the seasons go on or as the years go on. And how do all the birds get their names? How do they get their names? So we have some wonderful donors that provide us with ideas for names. So we do have some new ones this year. Our pea chicks from last year actually are named Paloma and Peabody. And then we have a Hamilton, a Brussels sprout, a Monty, and one named Philly. The guinea fowl, they don't have distinct names per se, but we rely on their colors to identify who they are. You see, everyone has their own attitudes, likes, and dislikes. How many eggs do they have in a clutch? In a clutch. With the guinea fowl, it's hard to tell here, but it can range from different numbers. I'm not 100% sure on the correct answer, but we've seen where they've dumped eggs and nests to about 50 or so eggs from multiple hens. What about the peafowl? The peafowl, their clutch size is going to range from six to eight eggs. And then how many of each species do we have right now? Of each species? So we have one species of guinea fowl, so the helmeted guinea fowl. And as far as the peafowl, we do have two species here at the zoo. We have our common or Indian peafowl that you see right in front of us. That's Miss America, our hen. And then we do have a Congo peafowl male in reptiles and birds. <laughs> They're very vocal and they have different vocalizations as well. They're good at keeping an outlook for what other predators that could be in the area. Luckily here at Brookfield Zoo, we don't have to worry too much about African predators, but they are still very aware of any bird that flies above that it could be larger like them, like our, our common hawks out here. Occasionally, uh, bald eagles will fly by as well. So they do keep an eye out for them, or if we were to have other larger native predators on grounds, they'd be well aware. Now we do have our wonderful police dogs here at the zoo, and whenever they go by the police dogs, they will alarm call and make it very obvious and aware that they know that that dog is there. Now, Charlie and Kirby are pretty good about not paying them any attention like they should, but the guinea fowl will go ahead and pay them attention. If you were going to come to the zoo and you wanted to see any of the fowl that we have, where would you look for them? That's a good question. 
They range throughout the park, but at 11 o'clock in the day, we'll be over here in front of this big tree where we do keeper chats and we provide them with additional diet and enrichment for the day. We do have peacocks that will range from the north to south end of the park. They have their own individual territories. Right here, this is Ozzy. This is his known territory for the park. And how many peacocks do we have? So what, how many, what's oh, your chance of seeing a peacock? Seeing a male. Okay, well right now we have, I believe, nine peacocks. And that does not include the four juvenile peacocks that we have, where they do not have the long train as you see Ozzy has but they will get it after three years. It takes three years to be able to fully grow out those long train feathers. Where do the birds go in the winter? That's a good question. So with our birds here, they're well conditioned to most of our weather here in Illinois. However, we do have a heated shed that we allow them to have access to throughout the winter. When we hit a certain degree, we will go ahead and bring all the birds in. We really work to shift them on in on their own so that they have a heated area to provide them away from the wind and the storms. But however, some males are very hardy. They will continue to stay out until we have to bring them in ourselves. All right, well, this is our lovely helmets of guinea fowl and our common pea fowl, or Indian peacocks. Thank you guys so much for coming out today. We hope you guys enjoyed bringing the zoo to you with our guinea fowl and our peacocks. <laughs>